In this video, I'll show you how to get the distribute points on volume node. Add a mesh, or select the mesh I want to use. Then after that, I'm going to go to geometry nodes, and I'm going to click new. What we're going to want to do is first get a merge by distance, then transform, join geometry, and then set position, and then distribute points on faces. Now I'm going to select these and do command G. The way this works is we're going to duplicate our mesh and scale it down five times and then we're going to distribute points on the faces of the mesh. But if you have a really high res model, what we're going to want to do is reduce the number of faces because we don't need them all for the volume right because we can't see it so we're going to use the merge by distance to delete those we're going to use the transform to scale them we're going to use the join geometry to join all of our different scalings together then we're going to offset them so you can't see that the shells of the geometry in the points and then we're going to distribute points on them so the first thing we're going to want to do is press shift d then y and move it down there then and i'm going to do shift r shift r shift r now we've got five and i find five to be a good number now we're going to connect geometry on all of these. I'm going to make this first one 0.25 and then 0 0.35, 0 0.45, 0 0.55, and then 0.65. And the reason that we increase the amount of merge by distance as we go down is because the smaller you go, the less noticeable the shape becomes. So we don't need as much geometry. And now we're going to go to the top here. Make this first one 0.9, because we want it to be inside in the volume. We make the second one, and we're gonna lower it by two. Let's just connect all these. If you look at it, we can see there are points inside of our volume. Now, there's an issue though. If our density was increased, like you can see how it's like one layer, two layers, three layers, you know, and we don't want that. We want it to look like it's random. So what we need to do then is we have this set position so we can offset them a little bit. And then we have the distribute points on faces. Now on the distribute points on faces, there are some settings here like selection and density that we want to have on our node. And if we go here, we don't have them. So what we do is we drag them to the sides. Now if we press tab, you can see we've got this here. Now I'm gonna rename this to and now this will act just like distribute points on faces only for volume. First things first, I'm gonna get a instance, instance some points. I'm gonna bring that density down. I'm gonna get a join geometry, connect that. And now I'm going to get a cube. I'm gonna connect the cube to instances. And now, so this one is acting as the distribute point on faces. This tells Blender to put a cube on those points and then the join geometry mixes those cubes with the original monkey. Now, I'm gonna scale these down a little bit. And now this is acting just like we want for a distribute points on volume, sort of. But we can still see the rings in our points. So the way we're going to fix that is we're going to select our node group, press tab, and then connect offset to group input, press tab again, and a noise texture, connect that to offset. And you can see it's offsetting our points. But for one thing, it's not random. And for another thing, it's like putting it all in this one direction. So first we need to center it. I'm going to get a vector math change that to subtract change that to 0.5 and now it's centered because the on average the noise texture is going to give values of 0.5 on all axes so if we subtract the normals by 0.5 then it's centered so now I'm going to press shift D and change this to multiply and now if I increase this it's going outwards right so I'm just going to do maybe maybe 1.5 on all axes and this just randomizes it a little bit and it's you can still see the rings but it's much harder and now you can use this distribute points on volume node wherever you want so if you just press shift a and type distribute points on volume you get this node with all the settings you're going to need